so welcome to another video. This is just a short one. We've been down on the shores of Loch Ness for the VW Festival, Dub Ness, uh, Friday and Saturday. This is Sunday, so we're heading back up to the west coast. We're going to stop off at Lairg and we stopped for a really just a dog walk. So we've parked uh, down in the uh, car park and we're walking up to the Firish Monument. So I'll explain um, a wee bit when I'm editing the video about the Firish Monument. It's quite interesting and you get fantastic views from there um, right along um, towards uh, the Black Isle and out to sea. So there's usually a few um, oil rigs and things <laughs> which add, I guess, a bit of interest. So it's a really nice walk. I've done it before. Um, I did it in 2018 on a much nicer day, um, so I'll maybe put some photos of that walk up. But um, yeah, it's only a short walk, so this will be a short video, but quite an interesting walk. So um, we'll probably bring you back at the monument. Cool. Oh, you're soaking. Another shower required. The Irish Monument close up is even more impressive than when seen from below. A huge structure of three central arches and four flanking towers. It was built in 1783 by Sir Hector Munro, the local Laird. He had been commander of British forces in India and defeated the Dutch at the siege of Negapatam. On his return to the Highlands, the clearances were underway and many people were starving. After the fashion of time, famine relief was provided only in return for work, it being feared that feeding the starving would make them lazy, and the construction of the monument was one of the tasks given to the local destitute. It is a replica of the gates of Negatapam to enhance Monroe's glory. So straight ahead there is Ben Wivis, and the views are just amazing. That's me just coming down from the Firish Monument, just heading back down the way we came up. So I hope you've enjoyed this wee video and thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!